is Saturday, May 28th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday puzzle, so we, we know what we're getting today. It's a themeless puzzle, no tricks, just crossword solving. And this, I suppose, straightforward edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Kathleen Quinn, Skyler, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel. I very much appreciate that. And if you'd like to join their ranks as benefactors and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can, of course, find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video. And if you back the Patreon campaign at any level, you get access to all of the uh, bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. The uh, weekly speed solve of mini puzzles did go up yesterday. I didn't have time to record an extra video, but I will try and do another one uh, very soon. And um, what else? Um, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. That's the free um, online community where members of or other, other watchers of this series reside. And there's the Constructor's Corner channel where you can solve puzzles created by community members, which is really wonderful. I've done that a number of times for the Patreon campaign on video. And um, you can get an extra channel in there if you're a patron, but otherwise it's free for everybody to join. So do check that out. There's a link underneath as well. And subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, of course, that's free. We're very close to, I think we're very close to 8,000 subscribers. I haven't checked today. Yes, not quite there, but very, very close. Perhaps by the time you see this video, we will have ticked over. All right, and let's solve the puzzle. Let's get on with it. This is a Saturday crossword, a themeless crossword, as I implied, but I think perhaps didn't state. Um, and it was constructed by Joseph Greenbaum, who has constructed a small handful of puzzles previously for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Order with four periods. Order with four periods. Oh, this is probably very clever. <laughs> I wish I were able to jump straight to it. Twitch, say. Could be a tick, maybe? A nervous tick, a twitch? Let's see if that, if that works. What might be followed in an investigation? Um, you could follow a lead or a scent or procedure. I mean, I feel as though there are many things. One-time subsidiary of GM. Mm, was Opal once a subsidiary of GM? I'm not sure. Word that, oh, word that sounds like a plural of one down, ticks. Now that doesn't look right, does it? Mm, this might be wrong. Let's find a new way into this puzzle. Relative of mustard. Aioli? Not sure. Decisive periods in brief. Maybe OTs, overtimes? Is ochre, perhaps, the color? Related to the color mustard, it may be served in a bed. And high end. Hmm. Activities for dummies, I don't know what that's going to be. I'm not sure about any of this, to be honest. Uh, this might be a tough one today. Worked a reception, say, informally. DJed, maybe? Or emceed, if you worked, for instance, a wedding reception. Maker of the supersonic hairdryer. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, if this were an M, does that help? I don't know. England's first poet laureate. Uh, John Donne? No. They're big in Hollywood. Big egos, perhaps? I'm going to delete this just in case it's MCs. MCs. Um, TV's American... Oh, there's a cartoon, American Dad. Booted up, say. Booted up shod, as in put shoes on. Okay. Let's see. Kind of pants. Kind of pants. Um, I'm actually not sure. Uh, I think this would be easy, wouldn't you? 
Maker of the supersonic hairdryer. Oh, I just don't know. Some members of a blended family. Step kids, step dads, step moms. Uh, nickname in 1950s to 60s TV. I wonder if this is the character referenced just two days ago, perhaps. Opie from uh, The Andy Griffith Show. I don't know. Mm, or that sounds like a plural of one. It seems unlikely to end that way. Maybe not. Activities for dummies, high end, maybe served in a bed. Maybe served in a bed, a flower bed. What kind of bed would be not the obvious one? Uh, not really sure. Mm, frustrating. So this could be step kids, step dads, or step moms. Those seem like the most likely options if this starts with step, which it may not. Um, so I just don't think I'm going to know this hairdryer thing. That's the problem. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to know it. Although, oh, stepsons. I would allow this to be John. DJ. Oh, yoga pants. Dyson. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I probably should have just taken a stab at that, but I didn't. Um, back. So you could back somebody, support them. The back could be the rear of something. Back could be in a direction. Um, staples of old westerns. Saloon gunfights or something? Saloon fights. Well, let's keep going for now. Blank America and so can you. Oh, I am America and so can you. I sort of vaguely remember when that came out. Stephen Colbert bestseller. Uh, blank disco European music genre. And secret alternative. Secret is a, a deodorant brand. I wonder if this means an alternative brand to that. I think, am I, am I remembering that right? I think so. Look out with awe. Uh, is this definitely I am America? I think so. Leave it there for now. I'll remember it's slightly tentative. Name names. Peg or get you pegged somebody, you name their name. Hmm. Rat maybe? As in uh, speak to the police. Gifts are displayed in these. Activities for dummies. Salon offering. Tease with on. Rag on, maybe? Reach. Grasp. Prefix with cortex. Prefix with cortex. Mm, neocortex, maybe? Uh... What is this? Uniquely. Flew private, for instance. Uh, flew private, for instance. Oh, wow, look at this. We have three grid-spanning answers arranged vertically. I think this is called a triple stack in sort of crossword lingo. Where was I? Is super punctual and make no plans to keep one's something open. Pro follower. Pro tem? President pro tempore? Prefix with cortex. Um, Oh, maybe this is Neo and reaches get to. And tease with on could still be rag on. Uniquely alone, yes, you could say I alone 
I'm struggling with this puzzle. Uh, on the something is super punctual. Something on the dot. Oops, that was wrong. Okay. Oh, John Dryden. John Dryden. Sorry, not John Dunn. John Dryden. Make no plans. Live in the moment. Here we go. It's all happening. Okay. Flew private. Something in style. Traveled in style. What is this? Oafish outburst is dough. Look at that. We got that with crosses. Uh, great. All right. This this looks better now. Blank disco. Oh. Italo disco? Italy disco? Secret alternative. Oh, Arid. I've, I've, that's another deodorant brand or antiperspirant brand, maybe. Um, look at with a Marvel a hat, Marvel over, Marvel upon. Focus of une biographie in French would be a V, a life. Focus of a biography, of course. So if you, oh, it's super punctual. Arrives on the dot. There we go. All right. This triple stack ended up being helpful, very helpful as it turned out. Gifts are displayed in these, oh, talent shows. So metaphorical gifts. So we have to... This is a very Saturday puzzle in that. So it's it's funny. It's actually, it's sort of less expressly punny than yesterday's Friday puzzle, but it's more misdirecting, I would say. And that, I think, is often true of a Saturday puzzle. Um, we, It's very withholding. Gifts are displayed in these. We think of a display case, right? We think of a, or some kind of gift box or something, but no, it's not. It's not referring to those kinds of gifts at all. Um, that's the kind of thing that happens often in a Saturday puzzle, I find. Okay, staples of old westerns. Uh, I don't think I've looked at this. 1980 black and white film that was nominated for Best Picture with the... Um, I'm not sure. I hope I recognize it when I see more crosses. Uh, Port Authority... Oh, so now here's a case where this does have the question mark indicating a bit of pun or wordplay, and that that does clue me into what is going on. It'll be something, wine something, port being the um, a dessert wine, type of dessert wine. So wine expert, maybe? An authority on port is a wine expert? And Terrence Blank, Fields Medal winning mathematician. Oh, I think this person might have come up in a crossword before, but I can't bring their name to mind. Saucer contents, for short. ETs, aliens, extraterrestrials. So here we have a saucer, is it a flying saucer, a UFO, sort of classically shaped UFO. Activities for dummies. Something tests. And glowing things are rave reviews, maybe. So again, a bit of misdirection. We would think of a glowing thing as something that is luminous, literally, in a physical sense, but no, not here. It's metaphorical. Uh, River of Hades. Oh, uh, let, um, Leth, River Leth. Uh, activities for, is that right? We'll have to check with the crosses. High-end, elite, maybe? River Leth. Uh, activities for dummies. Um, I'm not sure. What about this? Corolla part. Um, not sure about that either. Nickname in 1950s to 1960s TV. So that's not, not Opie. Um, Merv, Merv Griffin. Uh, talk show host. Maybe. Um, one time subsidiary of GM. And word that sounds like a plural of one down. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that. Corolla part. Corolla part. Is this a, a flower element? Um, it may be served in a bed, black and white film. All right, we'll need some, some other way in. We'll need to, hopefully we can get some clues from 
the bottom of the grid that will give us the 1980 black and white film. And that's our only remaining way in to the top of the grid. So hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll get there. Um, oh, I don't think I looked at this. It's often found on bow ties. Ah, this could be bow ties, the pasta shape. Tomato. No, I thought that was the A, but no, it didn't work. Um, Parmesan cheese, uh, some kind of sauce. I don't know if this looks like it fits. A pesto, maybe. Um, olive oil. What? Maybe, maybe I'm on the. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. I don't know. Uh, back salon offering. Oh, salon offering. Wig doesn't seem right. Um, a wax, maybe. What would this be with XS right there? Staples of old westerns. Oh, six shooters. There we go. Um, revolvers, pistols. Back to oh the hind your the hind right. It's in your hind legs, your back legs of an animal. Oh, this looks like phantom. The phantom. Does that work with this? Hmm. Oh, I, no, no, no. Sorry. Fant, fant mom is what I spelled. That's not right. Well, uh, what is going on here? Um, secret exits, maybe? Is that? This looks, something looks strange. I think I made, it feels as though I must have made a mistake. But I can't see where. Maybe I'll just keep solving and we'll, we'll discover what's happened. Things sometimes named after scientists. Laws are often named after the scientist who discovered or formulated it. Uh, spots, areas, as in a spot, I'll meet you at that spot, that area. Company that uses about 1% of the world's wood supply annually. Probably Ikea. I wouldn't have known that, but that sounds plausible. To look at with awe, to marvel... Hmm. It means be quick in Hawaiian. And an opening to closing. Distinguished fellows. Distinguished fellows. Oh. I think wine expert might be wrong. That might be part of what's going on here. That explains my problem. Because Mortimer Blank, famed ventriloquy dummy of old. I mean, this is sort of obscure, I would say. But I think it's Mortimer Snurd. Very classic ventriloquy dummy. I mean, you recognize it to see it, but even if you don't know the name. Uh, Chi Town Airport Code. Um, another strange one. Chicago O'Hare Airport <laughs> is ORD is the airport code. Uh, not very helpful if you don't already know that abbreviation. And I don't remember why. I remember looking it up one time. And there's some reason these co some of these codes are so strange, but I no longer recall. I think it has to do with what the previous name of the airport was, perhaps. It ends with a big splash. And in a manner of speaking, loves and then some. Cusps the ends we're at the cusp the end. soldier of love singer 2009 i'm not sure jewel eg informally that with that spelling i think that's an e-cigarette or a vape hmm Cut, oh eves ah yes that's much better than ends we're on the cusp of tomorrow the eve of tomorrow it's sort of a strange phrase you wouldn't say it that way but you know what i mean Jewel, e.g., informally would be an e-cigarette. There we go, an e-cig. Okay. Longe uh, longevous would be aged, I suppose. And championed. Uh, hmm. Soldier of love. Sade, maybe? It ends with a big splash. Oh, a water slide. There we go. Great. Oh, if you championed, you led. A fight, for instance. And in a manner of speaking. In a manner of speaking. This looks like something or 
oratorical? Yes, we, there we go. So a, ma a manner of speaking, you could speak oratorically. You could speak with a, a enunciation and gravitas and power oratorically. Uh, well, I guess I guess what this means more accurately is just any manner of speaking would be you're describing the oratorical style. Does I suppose it doesn't need to be necessary necessarily in the style of oratory per se. Okay, Saint Teresa's birthplace, Avila. Is that right? Secret. Uh, I'll leave that blank for now because I'm not certain. Avalanche, a spate of something, a great deal of it. Loves and then some. Oh, worships, right. Probably should have seen that earlier, but I didn't. Uh, so look at with us to marvel over. There we go. A low joint. Uh, so here another bit of misdirection could be a dive, a dive bar, a joint, a bar, a place. And it's low. It's not a sort of high-end joint. Okay. Oh, it means be quick and whine is wiki. I actually did know that. and just couldn't bring it to mind. Uh, from which we derive wiki is in Wikipedia. Um, comes from the, the Hawaiian word for quick. Okay, an opening to closing. Uh, and distinguished fellows are sirs, I suppose. Oh, disclosing, right. So, uh, see, that's very clever. I mean, there isn't anything misleading about this. It's just not the not the types of, of prefix I think most of us would think first when we think of closing. Uh, at least I didn't. But anyway, there we go. Disclosing. Okay. Uh, port authority. Wine... Master? Is that something? Wine master. Wine taster. That's better. Wine taster would be a port authority. Okay, that's much better. Secret. This looks like secret sauce, but that doesn't... Yeah, six shooter surely is correct. Uh, secret Santa. There we go. Okay, now what is going on? I've, I've clearly done something wrong. Live in the moment. That looks correct. Arrives on the dot. That, how could that possibly be wrong? Traveled in style. A salon offering is a wax. Now, I can imagine there being other things there are salon offerings, but with wine taster and six shooter, there, that just must be it. Back, hind, maybe that one's wrong? What is going on? Why does this look wrong to me? Terence Tau? I'm probably, there's probably just something very obvious that I'm just not seeing how, what these words would be. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize if you're yelling at me about this through the screen. Activities for dummies. Oh, crash tests, as in crash test dummies, of course. The um, sort of mannequins that are used in simulated road accidents. Uh, relative of mustard. And what might be followed in an investigation? And it's often found on bow ties. Right, it's often found on bow ties. Now, I really want this to be some kind of sauce or cheese or other pasta accompaniment. Oh, although we could start with pasta. Although that doesn't look right here. No. Assuming Merv is correct, which seems likely ending in a V. I mean, the ending in a V is really what gave me that. It's hard to think of anything else that that could be. Twitch say, one time subsidiary of GM. So GM is General Motors. Um, I just don't know. I'm not sure. Word that sounds like a plural of one down. Uh, oh, I just uh, really wish I could get that Twitch say. It really seemed like it was tick. And then is there some way that word that sounds like a plural of ticks? Don't I just don't think so. Order with four periods. Order. 
with four periods. Keep thinking like USSR, which is an abbreviation with four. It's not really an order. Well, no, I guess it is. I guess you could call it an order in the sense of a a sort of, um, you know, a, 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 a social order, a government. Let's just try it and see what happens. Corolla part, that doesn't look good actually at all. Yeah, not, not pleased with that. Relative of mustard. Relative of mustard. So it could be a color. It could be another kind of food. Is elite definitely right? No, I bet it's not. So I thought mustard might have been ochre, and that would allow high-end to be a haute, haute, as in haute cuisine, high-end cuisine. That's better than elite. You wouldn't really describe, like a person could be elite, but you wouldn't describe the person as high-end. You could say they participate in high-end sports or something, or high-end competition, but the person themselves, it's a different sort of word. Okay, so does that help? Decisive periods in brief. Oh, right. I thought that was overtimes. And that actually looks plausible. Why did I think that was wrong? I must have had some incorrect cross that looked bad. What might be followed in an investigation? Um, heart rate? That doesn't fit. Um, rate wouldn't work here anyway. Maybe served in a bed. Raid? Oh, the elephant man. The, the, um, uh, David Lynch film. Ah, boy, that was embarrassing. Okay. It took me absolutely ages. So this is a sauce. It is a sauce and it's a pasta sauce. Oh, it's the most straightforward. Phil, what did I, what was I struggling with here exactly? I don't remember anymore. Oh, it was this elite th uh, precluded me from entering pasta sauce. That's so frustrating. It may be served in a bed rice, a bed of rice. Ah, okay. It's all finishing off. Although this still looks wrong. Oh, that's why I didn't think it was pasta sauce. Maybe it's a different sauce. What might be followed in an investigation? Well, trail. I think that was one of the original things I said. This might be you follow a trail of some kind. You follow a what? What kind of trail? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me I haven't made any progress into this into this northwestern corner here. Really? It's often found on bow ties. Twitch, say. Um... Maybe Merv is wrong after all. I'm very surprised if so. Uh, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, maybe it's an app? Twitch is a streaming website? So, right, I guess it presumably has an app. I always struggle with that usage of app because it's not, I wouldn't think of, just because a service has an app, it doesn't mean I think of it as an app, but I guess it's technically true that it probably is a Twitch app. Oh, a paper trail. Oh, if you're in a sort of, I don't know, a tax investigation or something, you might follow a paper trail. See, again, here's a case where it's not necessarily misdirection, it's just the less likely version of investigation that I think most people would jump to initially, at least at least in my case. So this does look like pasta sauce. Does that let us to anything? Lead us to anything useful? Pe uh, I just why does that seem so wrong? Um, oh, apps, as in uh, a church, an apps in a church, and that looks. That sort of sounds like the plural of apps. It's, it's a homophone. It's pronounced the same way. Okay, great. So, a petal, a corolla. It is, I think this is a flower thing. All right. I think after all of that, Merv, astonishingly, is incorrect. That's quite amazing. Is 
that, is that really true? Oh, it is Beave. Leave it to Beaver. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that there are two names, two nicknames that can be spelled with an E in the second position and a V in the fourth position. And I think they're maybe both plausible fills for this clue. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Murph Griffin isn't, but wow. I, unbelievable. I really sabotaged myself there. So this is certain, this is after all pasta sauce. And Saab is a one-time subsidiary in GM, no longer. Okay. And an order with four periods is ASAP. Talk about misdirection. So this means an order in the sense of an order you've given to somebody, you've said ASAP as soon as possible. And there are four periods, four full stops that abbreviate the as soon as possible. Wow. No, wait. Oh, I didn't finish the puzzle. Sorry. I was confused because I didn't see the completion, but I also didn't see the error screen. Okay. It traditional, it traditionally starts with a strophe, a strophe, an ode. It's clearly an ode, the poem. And then it, 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 well, that that was something of a of a beast. I I mean, maybe, maybe that was just me, um, but I found this quite a tricky puzzle, I must say. And um, I think it was a, but I think it was a good a good Saturday puzzle. I don't, I, I really have no complaints. Um, we had this uh, this triple stack again, as I think it's called. Traveled in style, arrives on the dot, and live in the moment. And. Uh, I was definitely living in every single moment that I, that I, uh, in, in which I solved this puzzle. I was feeling all of those moments. That's for sure. Um, yeah, very, very good puzzle. A lot of very clever cluing. This order with four periods is ridiculous. ASAP. Uh, what else? I mean, just quite a, quite a few bits of clever, clever misdirection. I mean, relative of mustard. I mean, even something like this, where you know mustard might mean different things. It's just very difficult to. to jump straight to the correct one. Um, although, strangely enough, I think I maybe had ochre quite early in the puzzle and then got rid of it for some reason. I can't remember. Um, right, and then we have some of these. Maker of the supersonic hair dryer and England's first post laureate, um, 1668. Absolutely no misdirection whatsoever. They're as straightforward as you can get, but if you didn't know this, for instance, maker of the supersonic hair dryer, which I didn't, um, for some reason, I just had a, a lot of trouble jumping to a potential answer. Then something like back. It's just a very open-ended word that could mean many different things. Anyway, that's that's the sort of thing that happens in a Saturday puzzle. I really enjoyed it, even though it gave me um, quite a bit of resistance. Hope you did as well. But for now, why don't we read a few clues from yesterday's puzzle? I think I I think there were a few overt mistakes I made in yesterday's puzzle. So here, yes, there were. Michelle McBride Charpentier points out something I completely misinterpreted about the clue world record holder, which evaluated to Atlas. And uh, Michelle says, I think this just means that Atlas uh, holds records of the world, elevations, borders, etc. And Atlas meaning the, the book that contains... Um, that contains information. It's a geographical reference book. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with Atlas the Titan holding the world. And I think you're right. <laughs> I think that might be a nice little bit of resonance for the clue, but I think you're correct. It's it's referring to the uh, type of book. So thank you for that. All right. Uh, Elon uh, Aitan points out, while 25 across was Ides, it was not the Ides of March. It was the Ides of May. That is, you're absolutely right. I just miscounted the months. That was a very silly mistake. Uh, the 15th of May is the Ides of May, as in the Roman calendar, the Ides of a month was a day in the middle of it. For March, May, Ju July, and October, it was the 15th day, and for all the rest, it was the 13th. Um, I just got uh, I got carried away by the idea of the Ides of March, which is the certainly the most famous of the Ides. I think we can all agree, uh, but you're right. I misspoke. Uh, long way to Tipperary explains that Rona, the, uh, the person who was referred to in the gossip-related clue, Rona Barrett was a famous gossip columnist from the 1960s to 1980s. So thank you, long way to Tipperary. And Jacob Greenwood has two observations about some clues. The telephone number and letter correlation that allowed us to solve the, um, the clue that I think maybe matched... 
letters D E F or something to to a number on the on the phone. The telephone number letter correlation dates back to the rotary phone era before touchtone telephones. Although, of course, it had its heyday in the early two thousands for texting before phones had alphabetical keyboards. Uh, yes, that is that is a good point. I think I referred to it specifically as a feature of touchtone telephones, but indeed it does predate them. And then Jacob also pointed out the Rockets are Houston's NBA franchise. The uh, the Rockets came up um, as an NBA team yesterday, and uh, I wasn't quite sure where they were where they were located. Um, but apparently they moved there from San Diego in 1971. I didn't I didn't know that either. So the Houston Rockets, formerly the San Diego Rockets, and I think that's all I had noted down. So thank you to everybody who left comments. As usual, I always very much enjoy those. And that's it for today's puzzle. A tricky puzzle, I would say. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gave it a shot. And I'll be back tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle. It might take longer than this one, but it certainly won't be as difficult. That's that's my suspicion. And we'll have some kind of theme. We're back to the themes tomorrow. So join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Uh-huh.